Hello and welcome to Politically Incorrect Knitters with the lovely deplorable knitter. So happy you guys are here and I am hyper. I am flying through the air on cloud nine because stuff is happening, right, Anne? So much stuff. Like, <laughs> it's not every day. No, it's not every day. So last night, my husband and I were hanging out watching The Curse of Oak Island because we are cool in this household and we do cool things like that. <laughs> but, um, and I was checking Instagram and like, I said, hey, that's really weird. I got like 20 followers in like the last 10 minutes. I don't know what's going on. And so it kept happening throughout the show. And finally it was over because I'm not allowed to do anything but watch the show when it's on. It's like the rule. He's like, hey, are you watching? Are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> so um, when it was over, I found out that Michelle Malkin had tweeted about my Stop the Steel hat being removed from Etsy. So I was like, <laughs> I was pretty excited. I got and, the- And you had been interviewed by her before too. So that was pretty- Yeah. Weird. Yeah. When the Ravelry thing happened, she and I- uh, emailed a bit and she wrote a bit of a blog post about everything. Um, and so I emailed her again when this happened and just through fate and whatever, she did not get back to me right away. I mean, she got back to me right away, but then she didn't post about it. And um, she decided to post last night. And so she, she posted about it and then Tom Fitton picked it up, you know, from Judicial Watch. And then, and Today, Dr. K talked about it on her daily live that she does. It's just a short little thing, giving a little overview of Ravelry and whatever. And then just before Anna and I met, it was talked about on Newsmax. And I'm going to go die happy now because the guy talked about me on Newsmax. And what alternate reality do I live in that this is happening? Because <laughs> I never expected anything. And it's so bizarre <laughs> and awesome. <laughs> And scrolled um, through your shop a bit on screen. So that was, did. it's not just oh the stop the steel set, the stop the steel hat. Just like, look at all these beautiful things. Like the Vanna White of behold, knit these hats. It was, and it was so, man, crazy stuff is happening to me. I cannot even, seriously. Gallery Life has been the coolest platform and you have to get yeah. on. I know, I know I do. You know, you know that I am slower than molasses in January, but I am, I am determined. But the good news about that site is it's super easy to do and you can like copy and paste your um, Etsy stuff right into it and you'll be up and running in minutes. So I'll make Anne get on that guys so that you can uh, start supporting her there instead. I'm not against being on there. You know, it's just technology is difficult for me. That is why. <laughs> I know, but they've been excellent. And, mm -hmm. and on top of all of the stuff that's happening, they were like, hey, we've noticed that you've been getting a lot of sales and we're just so thankful that God brought you to our platform and, you know, how he's blessing you so immensely. And I'm going, wow, this is the nicest email I've ever gotten from anybody in my whole life. And it came from these people. That I, like, it's just a very different um, atmosphere than a lot of places I've been on. And so it's really cool. Like, I'm so giddy though that I think I need to make my day at this point. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was super exciting. Super exciting. And I'm going to put in the clip from Newsmax. Can I do that? I think you can. Or is it like a copyright thing? Might be a copyright thing. I don't know if you want to put it first okay. or last. Or... So if there's not a link to, <laughs> to, the, to what the guy said, if it's not in the thing, there will be a link. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, no. It's been a big 24 hours for me. I barely slept. I just... Like, I can't even open my email because there's just like a hundred million. Okay. 
there's like dozens of them, but still, it's a lot. And Act a lot of check. Them are, like, Only dozens. Orders, <laughs> and I don't know how I'm going <laughs> to. Yeah, no, no, not a hundred million, but it just feels like it. It feels like there's a lot of stuff. Well, there is a lot of stuff happening. I'm really excited. Excellent. That's really all I had to talk about is that you will not, I was working on a new pattern. I was like stoked about this new pattern last night. It was going to be put out and now I will be knitting Stop the Steel Beanies for at least until Christmas, um, depending on how quickly I get, how quick I get at making them. So that, that'll be happening. There will be no new patterns this month, I guess. <laughs> you know, not that you want to do this, but you could perhaps um, get a couple people to, you know, like work on commission for you, a couple extra Christmas dollars and <laughs> knitting hats for. Yeah, the, the thing about that, and, and I actually have some people that would be willing to do it, but um, I, I, you know, Anne, that we don't make a lot of money off of our finished product. No, not By at all. By the time you put yarn costs and time and things into it, you end up making like $4 an hour. Hmm. And so... I have at least one person who would probably they're fast enough knitter that they could do it but um yeah I'm gonna probably just put myself into purgatory and just knit <laughs> stop the steel hats until <laughs> I can knit no longer <laughs> until your fingers seize up <laughs> and next time you see me I'll have these claw hands <laughs> there will be no editing of the videos because I won't be able to <laughs> just like uh, uh. <laughs> No, but man, wrap up your hands crazy. like boxing. I am flying high. I won't even lie. Like, so ooh, I'm rhyming too. I'm so excited. I'm rhyming. <laughs> um, so that was happening. And then today, Anne was at work. I know. How dare I? So she missed it. But the president was fabulous. He was fabulous today. And he was stood strong and he said, that he is going to make sure that the election integrity is that has that the election has integrity and how ridiculous it is that it's been going on this long mm -hmm. and um nobody carried it i don't think that any news station carried it maybe right side broadcasting but um from what i was seeing on the interwebs there was no mainstream media outlet that had anything about it so I know it's such a surprise but yeah it's bizarre and I'm I haven't seen I saw the first couple minutes of it so I haven't seen the rest of it um but the you know that it feels you know the election thing has happened and even though Trump has made statements here and there that it feels like I don't know like you know when he's out when Trump is out there and he's doing rallies that like, okay, you, you know exactly what's on Trump's mind because he's always saying that he always has a platform to do so. And each rally is interesting because he has his sort of stump speech things, but generally that he brings in the news of the day, whatever's happening this moment, you have Trump's take on it. It's immediate. Um, but, you know, with, it seems that it's more like shuffle behind closed doors now that the, there's election issues that there's lots of stuff going on and you don't necessarily see that. So it's Trump is, you know, you can finally hear Trump's own take on Trump's own election <laughs> that it feels that it's like, like, okay, you can, you know, that this, this is what he says about it sort of a thing. So I don't know. Yeah, I think it's nice. It's, I, it is nice. And I think that it's been somewhat disconcerting to myself and probably a lot of other people that we haven't really seen him much mm -hmm. and he hasn't said much about it and so it's hard to like I know that they've got legal teams working and they can't really talk about a lot of the stuff but it, it's hard to like keep the momentum and to keep the intensity when like you don't hear from him and everything's negative and it's just and I know and that that's what they're trying to do they're trying to wear everybody down but. Right. And all of these hearings seem to be shoved to the side where you have, you have the, the, the Trump supporters, conservatives, they're paying attention to this because there is so much fraud. And then 
Um, even, you know, on good old Fox News, you have Juan Williams saying there's no evidence, there's no evidence, there's no evidence. It's like, well, what about all of this? Uh, no evidence. But like, th th there is, though. You can't, you can't, you know, the top of the hour that Fox. That doesn't count. Come the on. top of the hour Fox News girl who's been like, oh, Trump and his baseless campaign claims. And I'm like, look here, sign woman. I have been to my last straw with you for years now, and you're just, you're going to do this to me? <laughs> I don't know. I feel, I feel like the, this is off topic, but I feel like the fifth Harry Potter book, you know, where Harry's like Voldemort's back and the government and the media says that no, he isn't. And he's just angry all the time and wants to scream at everybody. <laughs> That is that is my point in this story that I'm like Voldemort's back and everyone's lying about it. <laughs> like you know, usually I'm confused by your analogies that you use, but but I've read Harry Potter, so I've got that going for me. And <laughs> you're absolutely right because everybody in that book, everybody's like Harry, you're ridiculously stupid. That's not true. <laughs> and he's going no it's true and I feel like that I feel like everybody is going no you guys are so dumb that's not happening in right. the meantime we've got Dolores Umbridge in her pink sweater coming and like sending everybody attention and I know you know spelling them and kicking us out and it's terrible sorry yeah it's okay <laughs> it's bad but as was also the moral of the story that Voldemort wants you to feel alone and disconnected from people. And also there are more people who believe you than you think. So don't sounds, forget. Sounds just like us with COVID and the election mm -hmm. and oh my gosh, like mm -hmm. who knew that JK Rowling would be such a force in our time. And I'm going to say the most controversial thing I've ever seen said on the show. Alex Jones is the quibbler. That's it. Okay. I don't know who Alex Jones is. <laughs> Alex, so is help. Alex Jones was the guy who was so conspiratorial. They kicked him off. They kicked him off YouTube for that. And and. While you listen to Alex Jones and you think like, wow, this guy's kind of crazy. And then he's the one who first talked about the, the celebrity pedophile gangs and everything else. And then ah, like so every really day I wake knows. up and I say, Alex Jones was right. And just like the <laughs> quibbler, you're like, uh, I'm sorry, but they were the people who, who published Harry's stories. I'm stretching this, but let those No, no, I'm understand. with you though. Makes sense. <laughs> like, so for our friends that don't watch Harry Potter, it's all a conspiracy theory. And they're trying to make you feel like you're crazy. That's the moral. Yep. Gaslit by the media. Anyways. And the only place where you can goofy. find the real news is, you know, a few fringe. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We are being goofy. Yeah, the, um, the conspiracy website was the only people, or the conspiracy website. This is Harry Potter. The conspiracy magazine was the only people who would publish the real story. So. Go figure. Hey. Um, and then they banned the story and throughout the school, you were not allowed to have a copy of it, which made it even more popular <laughs> and made sure right. that everybody read it, which and I think is an excellent moral. Sure makes it sound like a lot of stuff that's going on here. Oh, we can't talk about this. We can't. Oh, you're questioning the election. I have more orders for my, uh, I mostly sell patterns. I'm happy to sell completed items, but my bread and butter is patterns that other people make. I have never had so many orders for a completed product in the two years I've been doing this. Never. So there you go. You're trying to suppress it, but ha ha. <laughs> Look at what's happening now. There you go. Um, <laughs> Voldemort can't stop the rock. Another obscure literary reference. Cozy moments cannot be muzzled. <laughs> so I got nothing. That one either. Anyways, we're still here. You're still here. We're good. We're good. And hey, check out Galilee Life. And if you want a completed Stop the Steel Beanie, nothing's going out until after Christmas at this point in time. So if you get in that this point in time, 
it, it will be a while. So good, good luck with that. Um, <laughs> but the pattern's available for my knitter friends. <laughs> and, Gave grandma to make it for you. <laughs> sorry, we are so goofy. It is 11 o'clock on Wednesday night. It's 11 o'clock at my house. It's 10 o'clock at Ann's. So mm-hmm. it is too late for this, but I just so giddy, so excited, had to tell you guys about what's happening. Mm-hmm. So there will be a full episode on Saturday. We have a special guest, um, Haley from Sweet Sequels, who is on Bookstagram, which is something different for us. It was really interesting and fun. And hopefully we will see you guys done. All right. See you then guys. Have a good week.